Hi, welcome to Wyzant's Tutor Success Series. Today we will cover the Wyzant Online Learning Tool and how you can prepare to have a successful online lesson with your students. From within your Tutor Account dashboard, you will have a number of tools at your disposal to prepare for and access your online lesson. First things first, please remember to use an up-to-date Google Chrome or Firefox browser when accessing the online tool. You may also use Safari and in fact must use this browser when having an online lesson on your iPad. If you do not have one of these browsers, not to worry, they are free to download at any time by searching for their names from your preferred or standard internet browser. Please note that the tool is currently not accessible from the Wyzant Tutor app or on any mobile devices, and you will not need to download anything to access the online tool. It is simply accessed directly from your tutor account when accessing the website from your browser on a laptop or computer. After logging into your account, it is highly recommended to open the online tool from a demo room, which is a practice room that only you can access to test all of the features within the online learning tool before ever even meeting with a student. You can find this room a few different ways, including under the toolkit, the Join My Online Lesson page under the My Business tab, and even from your dashboard by clicking on the Online Lessons button. Those last two options will take you to the Start or Schedule an Online Lesson page. If a page appears that is prompting you to Get Certified, the website is just making sure that you'll be able to access the online tool on the device that you are using. This Online Lesson page will act as the gateway you'll use for all things online. You will notice a button that says Open Demo Room in a table on the right side of this page. Clicking on that button will open a page that offers you a chance to see any new features on the online tool. You can click See New Features or just Skip to Setup. Clicking Skip to Setup will prompt the website to check that your microphone and your camera is completely accessible by the website. If you are having trouble with any of the device checks, please make sure that everything is connected correctly and working correctly from within your laptop or computer settings. If so, it may be time to clear your browser's cookies and cache. If they have not been cleared in some time, it can sometimes affect the functionality of the online tool. After finishing the check, Wyzant will direct you into this practice session. As you can see, it may give you a tour of all the functions. Once you click Start the Tour, Wyzant will provide some helpful tips. However, at any time, you can get rid of the tips by clicking End Tour. When you want to leave the demo room, simply exit your browser or click on the Wyzant logo, which will open a new tab and take you back to your dashboard. All right, so at this point, you are logged into your Tutor account and you have checked out a demo room to make sure that you're familiar with its functions. Also, you made sure that your camera, microphone, and device are capable of having online lessons, and that you are on a stable Wi-Fi connection to access the internet without interruption. And hey, check it out! You even met a student that would like to book an online lesson with you. Now what? Well, the first thing to consider is replying to the student requesting your services to just get confirmation that they would like to have their lesson and for what specific time. Some students may not be aware of how an online lesson will work or even where it will be conducted. This is a great opportunity to direct them to the Wyzant Help Center in order to give them an idea of what to expect. When it is time to have your online lesson, there are a number of ways you can access this lesson room including a few ways from the My Business tab. There is the Calendar button if you have scheduled your lesson within the Wyzant calendar, the Join My Online Lesson button, and even the Students button. We'll focus on the Online Lessons button that lives in your dashboard that we referenced earlier. After you click on the Online Lessons button, you will see a field in which you can type the name of your student. Remember, if you've given your student a nickname, they will be under that name instead of their account name. After typing in the correct student's name, you will see a small pop-up you can click. When you do so, the previously gray buttons will turn orange and become clickable. Click Start Lesson to create your session. Don't worry if the student has already joined the room. In that case, this Start Lesson button will merely take you into the room with your student. After clicking the Start button, you will see a couple familiar pages. This is intended as the site will always check your audio and your video settings on your device to make sure that everything will run smoothly in your session. Please note that you can enter your lesson 30 minutes to an hour in advance. This will allow you to prepare your lesson by having documents uploaded to your whiteboards. Or you may just want to play around with the online tools before the student arrives. 
At this point, you've made it into your room and you're waiting on your student. While waiting, you can always click the Send Reminder button to send your student a friendly reminder to help them join the lesson. However, the student also has a handy dashboard at their disposal, which will allow them to click a large green Join My Online Lesson button and send them directly to your room and on their way to a successful lesson. Remember that having the lesson in the online tool does not mean that it has been logged and submitted. As a reminder, go ahead and submit that lesson when you're done with the session. This should be done within seven days of the lesson date and to make sure that you're paid within a timely manner. Thank you for watching and happy tutoring.